Howdy, howdy, everybody. Welcome back. This is Big Mike. I'm trying out a new game today. Trigger Happy Havoc. I think that's Danganronpa? Danganronpa? I don't know how to say it. Anyway, so this is a game a friend of mine wanted me to play. Uh, she got it for me ages ago. I want to say sometime last year. Because I showed some interest in it. She was like, well, hey, you might like to play it. I was like, okay, you know what? I'll give it a shot. Well, I never actually sat down and played it. So, this is going to be a blind playthrough. Let's see what happens. I do know a little bit of what's going on in the beginning, up to about the first 20-30 minutes of gameplay, because I tried recording it yesterday, and it didn't record so well, so... New game. I uh, want English. I... Kind, I guess? I don't... I guess that's easy, medium, and hard. Okay, now, I still don't know what the fuck is going on here at the beginning. The hell is with that teddy bear? I'm guessing that's the main character. I don't know anything about any of these games. I looked up a little bit, and I have not played any of the other games related to this. Interesting enough art style. Well, that looks... unfriendly. I like the music, though. I don't know if that's, like, techno, or... Oh. Okay then. And there's Saturn on some kind of fucking. Dr oh, I just noticed the moon. I didn't notice the moon last time I played this. Oh god. That would be one hell of a roller coaster right there. All right. Well, that was unpleasant. Okay, then. <laughs> this is fucking weird. Alright. Oh. People poking me on, uh, Steam. Alright. Trigger, happy havoc. Danganronpa. Danganronpa. Dangan whatever the fuck. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in the bustling urban area. I think this is the main character talking. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. That looks pretty cool. It's fucking orange, though. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. Oh, man. I wish I could have gone to a school like that. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. Okay. I have no idea what this character is supposed to sound like, so I'm just going to use my announcer voice. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to be already attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No, I'm not going to make a Pokemon joke there. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. Standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students was me. This goofy looking motherfucker. That's a cool hoodie, though. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. My name's Nakoto Naegi. God, he does not sound the way I was making him sound. I'm just gonna keep my voice going for him, because if I try to do that voice, I'm gonna laugh at myself. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. With big ass eyes. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. Well, that's a horrible thing to say about oneself. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or a mutant or whatever. Is, is that normal in this world? I don't know. Like, if you asked me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all be just whatever's most popular at the moment. Well, that's... okay. Even among the average, I'm completely average, so I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. Okay, that's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's good, always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. Good to know. I mean, look at me, I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am, standing in front of the anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. Still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. Okay, so I think I'm fi uh, finally figuring out the text colors. Blue is him thinking. White is him talking. 
and orange is... Orangish slash yellow is... Fuck, I don't know. It's got this overwhelming presence. It's like trying to swallow me whole. Oh, it's like it's trying to swallow me whole. Okay. But it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is, well, let me just tell you about the pre preparation I did last night to get ready to for today. I cannot talk today. Oh, cool. Is he on, like, 4chan? Oh. Hope Speak only invites those students who are truly elite or the truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic, there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. And all I saw was talk about ultimate students who are way beyond your average high schooler. Huh. Oh, okay. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. That's definitely different. Oh my god. Every damn time I see his face. There's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. He just looks so pissed off. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. Huh. Ten page Junko is Inoshima. Oh. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Creepy? Good god. Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader, too. Because that's something. Is that say crazy... Dramond? I can't... Diamond? Crazy Diamond, okay. The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who wandered into a pride of lions. And I'm just imagining, I'm just remembering that one picture of the cat chasing off the lions. This might work. We can do it, bro. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one with any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they be just average students like me, without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality. But beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter to see when they sent me to see why. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected, and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. That's a little shady. That is very shady. They spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. That's a good reason. But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. And I took my first step towards the main hall. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says it's 7.10 a.m. The meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. It makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I was so wound up, I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. Oh shit, they slipped some acid. Slipped in some acid in his morning orange... I don't know. What the... But the instant I took that first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. Oh god. 
I'm getting a little dizzy. And the next moment, everything went black. Because that's a good way to start off the game. That was how it all began. And how my life as I knew it came to an end. Or how life as I knew it. At that point, I should have realized. The reason I was brought to Hope Speak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Welcome to Despair. Prologue. Okay, welcome to Despair High School. Want to save the data? Alright, so I think this is where I'm going to go ahead and call it for this time. Um, that was an interesting opening. Not sure, uh, not sure how this game is going to go. I, I know very little about what's actually going on here, so... Hey, we'll find out together, won't we? <laughs> this is fucking weird. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and overwrite that one. See y'all next time. Later.